Hello, Habibis! Welcome to another Wolfman's Friday Night Fights! We got Desert Force 23 action again from Gazir Stadium in Lebanon. We have Julian Pednor out of France taking on Mohamed Garabi out of Lebanon. And there's everybody's favorite announcer. I hope YouTube pictures the picture again because it doubles my views. Gamila. At the blue corner, he's 26, standing at 1 meter 83, originally practicing MMA, fighting out of France, Julien Piennois. She has a better French accent than I do. 5'10", 170. Standing at 1 meter 74, originally practicing MMA, fighting out of Lebanon, Mohamed Gourabi! Mohamed Gourabi, 170 pounds himself. Guys, this should be a good one because both guys have an equal 6-3 and three record. Mohamed Garabi, all six of his finishes are by KO TKO, so 100% finishing rate. Probably mostly with his hands, I would guess. The Frenchman in the blue trunks, Garabi in the black trunks, and here we go. Both guys coming out orthodox. The Frenchman throwing an inside leg kick. And now an outside leg kick by Pednor. Pednor. And an inside kick needs to set those up with his hands first. Garabi tries his own back. Okay, I see instead of playing with this range game without the hands, you should be establishing the distance with your hands and maybe some calf kicks. And then punching your way in. See, that's why you don't throw a naked kick. Almost got countered with the right hand there. And these guys basically playing a Muay Thai battle here. We don't see a lot of footwork or lateral movements. Pretty good inside leg kick and a nice outside leg kick return there. Both guys look like they have their uh, their pharmacy strength and conditioning down. Nice left high kick. You guys, see, you now they're fighting in a Muay Thai rhythm. It's easy to pick up stuff when you fight at a rhythm. Complaining about an eye poke there. Got a break rhythm. Nice outside leg kick. Spinning kick. Gets blocked, but that was, that was pretty. Going in with some punches there. Left up a Lands five in my system. You watch my numbering system. Some long hooks missed. Pounding from that. Pounding from any drop. Wow, I did see a solid connection. I must have missed it. Or perhaps Robbie really does have rocks in his hands because this is his seventh KO or TKO. Hopefully we'll catch some replay action. Hit him with some long hooks. I don't know, maybe a right uppercut snuck in or, or something landed solidly on the chin to make the Frenchmen go down. Guys, hopefully you're enjoying Wolfman's Friday Night Fights. We had a very uh, quick, exciting Art of War fight earlier that probably we'll finish uploading first. We'll make sure to check that out. And here we see the replay. Stalking him against the cage. Right overhand misses, left long hook misses. And then some right hands. There was something in the in-between that stunned him and started to drop him. Then he got punched on the way down. Uh, Grabi must have rocks in his hands and perhaps Pednor has a, a bit, a bit chinny. I'm not sure what landed that solidly to drop him that quickly. 
Go, go, Garabi, says the fan in the stands. Perhaps his son, you never know. Nice production by Desert Force, guys. Want to thank them for giving me permission to recommentate these in English for the English-speaking world. Give you guys some Friday night fight action. And guys, please share this. Please share this around, you know, the different Facebook pages, your Facebook page, uh, Reddit. Got any uh, sure doggers or underground crews left, even though those sites basically sucky suck. Anyway, guys, please share it. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Do this old man a favor. Hit that subscription button. Hit that notification bell. Guys, I'm going to call it there. والفيز بهالمباراة بالضرب الأرض أو النوك أوت اللاعب محمد خرابي محمد خرابي with a nice seventh finish KO TKO in a row. Here we guys, I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks everybody.